Thanks for joining us. Now, patients at the Savalugunantong Hospital in the northern region share wards with dead bodies as a result of inadequate infrastructure there. The hospital's morgue is dysfunctional and overcrowded, forcing managers to divide the limited space between the living and the dead. Hospital officials are concerned the situation threatens the health and safety of patients but have no choice. Join News' Hashmin Mohammed visited the facility and has come through with this report. The facility looks good outside, but you will be disappointed when you get in. The ceiling of the roof is torn, exposing naked wear in some parts of the hospital. Rusty nails can no longer hold family together, leading to severe leakages which destroy patients' files. There is also inadequate space and beds, making children and adults share beds in the walls, whilst others lie on the bare floor. Yakubo al Hassan, who has been using the facility with his children, has been speaking about his experiences. I brought a child here, that was two weeks ago. The child was admitted at the general ward. Over there, the place was so crowded and there were no beds to contain the patients. So my child had to be treated on the bed floor. We stayed here for three days and were discharged. On getting home, I realized that the child was having other skin diseases, which I suspected we contracted from the hospital. So we returned and the child was treated of that disease. So what the lack of space and inadequate beds is the least of their problems. The facility lacks toilet and urinal facilities, and patients engage in open defecation. The mock is dysfunctional and patients are worried about the problem. To use, to ease or take our bath and outside the clinic or outside the hospital. So we came around five to four, four to five. That time people do not see me. We just do it quickly and go back again. Aside the hospital, in, the, in an unlikely event, there is a death. There's no mortuary where the disease is normally sent to. The patients have to be with the body until the family come to claim the body. The stench and the frustration in patients, in, in patients watching this is not easy. So we are pleading with God. Management of the hospital have attributed the challenges of the hospital to the inability of government to take any rehabilitation and expansion works before upgrading from the health center to a municipal hospital to serve a growing population which is now at 193,283. Dr. Samson Abankwa is the medical superintendent of the hospital. Of improvement in terms of the facilities at the hospital. So though it is functioning as a hospital, all the facilities or most of the facilities that are here were meant for a health center. So one major problem that we are facing is the problem of congestion. Anywhere you go, you see that people are making do with very small spaces. For example, if you go to the lab, the whole place is so congested. Uh, at times when they have to handle stew and uh, sputum and things, it's virtually impossible because it's just a small and close place that they are managing. You go to the accident and emergency, it is sharing the same facility with the CSSD where they sterilize our items. So when they finish treatment and you have dead body just by the and dead bodies, more so the Muslim community. Uh, so uh, it is a problem for, for... Member of Parliament for Savlugu, Abdul Somet Mohamed Gunu, who taught the facility with the district chief executive, Hajia Aisha Tusedu, tells Joy News he is overwhelmed by the state of the hospital. Last year, uh, and then when the parliamentary select committee visited the hospital, they were disappointed. 
because this is more of this year. This year. This year. So I think this is uh, just a clinic. Yes. We cannot describe this yes, uh, yes. as a hospital. Yes, yes. So we need the government prioritized the Savlugonanto Municipal Hospital by giving it a facelift. Patients visiting this particular facility will continue to share beds in wars and also sit with cops. For Joy News, Hashmin Mohammed reports from Savlugonanto. Definitely a worrying situation.